We get a lot of offers to do sponsored videos on the channel now and we've turned pretty much all of them down so far as a lot of the offers either haven't been relevant to you, our audience, or what the company is selling has been crap. But this one turned up in our inbox earlier in the week. I gave it a try while I was waiting for a Zoom call with some clients and was actually really impressed. So for full disclosure, Lalal, which sounds to me a little bit like a budget Arabian airline, have sponsored this video and we've accepted that sponsorship because we really like what they're doing. Indeed, if this had been around five years ago, it would have made my life a whole lot easier. And here's why. Quite often you need to remove a vocal from a pre-recorded track to get an a cappella or to end up with an instrumental track. We had a young man in the studio once a week a few years ago who had some severe learning difficulties but loved music. And so his educational establishment asked us if he could spend a couple of hours a week in the studio with us. Now, he was hard work and initially I struggled to find enough enriching activities to hold his attention. But then one day I was about to take him through a mix and he asked me if he could just hear the solo vocal. I played in the solo vocal, he hopped straight on the piano after hearing only a few bars and played what can only be described as Jacob Collier level accompaniment. He'd never heard the song before and it was incredible. He came up with a completely different chord structure than the vocal melody would dictate to most seasoned musicians and was throwing in all kinds of advanced chord substitutes without actually having any theoretical idea of what he was doing at all at 14 years old. And this became his thing, completely rewriting a song when given just the vocal. And over the next year or so, I ran out of stuff to give him. I ran out of multi-tracks we'd recorded and couldn't find a reliable way of isolating a vocal from a stereo mix without a ton of artifacts. I had some success with mid-side techniques combined with EQ, but you could always hear that vocal reverb come through the instrumental version and hear a ton of stuff you didn't want in the vocal part. Lalal, -la, where were you then when I needed you, eh? Let's take a look at this very easy to use web-based service and give you a demo. James. According to their website, Lalao uses an incredibly powerful neural network technology to split a song into its vocal and instrumental component parts. This is an extraordinarily difficult thing to get sounding good, so we're really excited to see how this turns out. The service is found on their website and offers a really easy to understand interface. On the home page, you can select which audio file to deconstruct by dragging and dropping an audio file or click the button to select a file. You can then choose between using the old and new algorithms, with the new one featuring the improved deconstruction technology and the strength with which the algorithm should pull the song apart, with a choice between mild, normal and aggressive. Just something to note, you have to pick the algorithm type and processing level before uploading your track. There's no choice to change these settings once the song is uploaded because it processes instantly once it's on their servers. Once the track's uploaded, listen to the track previews to see how the end result will sound. These previews, even if not in full quality for bandwidth reasons, will give you a great idea of how well the software can take the audio apart. And upon listening through to various genres of music over the course of this morning, I've come to the decision that this really is a fantastic service. I've uploaded everything from disco to metal, and Every track I've tried has given me great results on both the medium and aggressive processing strengths, with little discernible difference between the two. I was also impressed with the mild setting, which is the lowest, with the software still able to pull apart the tracks with no issues. You could hear a little more instrumental bleed on the vocal track on the mild strength setting, but not enough to be an issue if the track is being used for remixing. Some of the vocal tracks were almost perfectly isolated, which is incredibly impressive considering these are commercially mixed and mastered tracks that are often quite compressed. Even if there is a small amount of bleed on the vocal tracks in certain scenarios, it's certainly not something that's going to cause you any sleepless nights if you're working on a remix. The track you place the newly extracted audio into is going to mask any of these small audio leakages. Let's listen to some tracks to see how it sounds you'll hear the original mastered mix and then the extracted vocal and newly created instrumental version. Man, I always had stories about the city lines and the crazy nights. Figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out. See what it's all about. Man, I always 
always had stories about the city life and the crazy nights. Figure I should probably give it a try. Maybe check it out, see what it's all about. No. Pretty Caroline. She was a when I started working at the dine. Oh, 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 searches of her mind. To count your blessings, cause it's As you can hear, this is some seriously powerful software. As it states on their website, it runs on a neural network trained on over 20 terabytes of music data, so it's had plenty of practice. And it shows this is a great service and it's really cheap too. If you're interested in trying it out, you can process up to three tracks or a total of 10 minutes of audio for free. And you can also preview the service, albeit at a fairly low resolution, directly on their website. Let's hear Mark's final thoughts. I've used a fair few of these services and bits of software over the past few years, and none of them have been good enough to even really remember what they were called. I occasionally use Master Rebalance in Isotopes Ozo 9 when I'm mastering if the label needs a vocal up mix and the multi-tracks aren't available, and that's really great at a dB or two of boost or cut, but it can't completely remove a vocal. This can, and it can do very, very well. More than well enough on any material we've tested it on to be able to do a ground up remix with the extracted vocal. I'm really impressed with this and I can also see us using it as an educational tool. We did a video a while ago on how you can use sites such as Epidemic Sound to isolate mixed stems and hear how various components of a mix, drums, bass, instrumentation and vocals are mixed by the pros and how they all fit together. And this could be great for any budding singers to isolate the vocal from their favorite tracks to really hear how they are sung and then use the instrumental portion to practice along with themselves. Overall, I think it's great. It does a fantastic job. It's not 100% perfect, but this is a very, very difficult thing to do. Anyone who's mixed a track knows how many effects can be applied and to extract that vocal complete with the effects from a track and leave you with two parts, instrumental and vocal, is very, very difficult. There are some artichokes. Artifacts. There are some artifacts on the instrumental track you can hear a bit of ducking sometimes where the vocal was and occasionally a little bit of vocal reverb coming through and when you are, listen and isolate the vocal track you can quite often hear in the background some and that kind of stuff so it's not 100 percent perfect but i think it's probably about the best i've heard so far and i'm looking forward to keeping an eye on lalau and seeing both where they take this technology in the future and where they start flying to as james said you can try it out for free yourselves using the link in the description and please use that link if you want to try it we don't earn anything from it no affiliate links but it does tell lalau that we sent you as always, thanks so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Ding that ding dong and you'll see us in the next one. Bye.